When we think back at the devastation that occurred in Puerto Rico, not only initially by Hurricane Irma, but then after Hurricane Maria, we had lost communication. We didn't know what happened 30 miles from us. I lost friends because they lacked oxygen. I lost relatives because they couldn't get on time to a hospital with sufficient fuel to run their generators to have the whole spot hospital running. The most urgent problem to collectively address regarding regional resiliency is designing and funding an optimally resilient grid which meets blue and gray sky days at the lowest cost. The grid that we have today is not the grid we need. The grid of tomorrow, what has to happen is we need smart devices integrated into the grid to allow energy resources to come on and off the grid in a controlled fashion. Uh, and that's a big part of what SNC does. Resiliency is really our ability to recover from an outage. What the self-healing electrical systems allow you to do is autonomously, automatically, be able to identify where that fault occurred, isolate the fault, and then reroute power to your customers. The challenge I'm speaking about today is grid versus microgrid. And um, we have big choices ahead of us between underground to improve resiliency, expanding our plant to maintain our reliability and our capacity, and investing in renewable energy. Those are all big decisions that we have to choose which path, which direction, or all of the above.